Hello our little bombinos. Welcome back or welcome to our channel, Gia and Mia. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, then hello. <laughs> um, today I'm going to bring you along. Um, I'm going to a few different stores to buy some different things and then I'm going to do a haul at the end of everything that I bought. I'm so excited for you to come along with me. Let's just jump right in. Hello. I hope you're doing well. It is Monday. Technically, I'm on my fall break, whatever that means, um, because it's literally only two days, so I don't really get it, but whatever. Um, but I'm going to go to a few different places. I'm going to go to the dollar store, TJ Maxx, Home Goods. birthday presents. Um, my best friend's birthday's coming up. I need to get her a present. My mom's birthday's coming up. I think I have an idea of something I'm going to get her. Um, so I may, it may be something that like me and my sister are buying together. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be buying whatever today. Um, I think I want to make like a few little Halloween baskets for my friends. I think that's what I'm gonna do first. I think I'm gonna stop at um, the dollar store first to see what cute little Halloween thingies they have. Um, yeah. So that is my agenda today, and then I'll do a little haul of everything I bought later. So it'll be super cute, super fun. Yeah, just excited to like go out and like run errands. There hasn't really been much time for me to do that, so that's what I'm going to be doing. So I will see you. I'm on my way to the dollar store right now, so I'll see you in a little bit. Stuff is already out. Crazy. Um, I'm looking for a little Halloween card to put with the basket. So I guess we'll see. Alright. So. Uh, just got out of the store. I just got out of uh, the dollar store. Got some stuff, which I'll show you later. And to the next store. On to the next store. Um, trying to see like which order would make the most sense. Probably like Home Goods and TJ Maxx next. All right. also quite hungry so maybe I'll stop and get like coffee and something <laughs> they were I guess like stocking their shelves and stuff so it was like there was a lot um, stuff all over the place in that store it's hard to get to like certain parts of the store but that's okay um, I don't know if this is true, but I heard like all dollar stores are gonna like start to be this thing where um, it's not gonna be a dollar, it's gonna be like five dollars and less. I'm like, so you're gonna be five below now. <laughs> but five below is now, now has like ten dollars and less, so it's like, excuse me, sir. Sir? Sir, excuse me. That was rude. This guy, so I'm trying to make a left turn. This guy is sitting here 
in the left lane. The light was green. Nobody was coming. He was not going. Um, I beeped at him and he still didn't move. Um, I don't know if like he thought like he couldn't go because he didn't have an arrow. I don't know if he was not paying attention. I did beep at him. Oh well. Kind of rude. Kind of sucks because I could have uh, been halfway there by now. It's people like that, you know, that irk me. I can stop in Wawa really quick and get something. It requires getting out of the car. Eh, no. Probably should have. It's fine, whatever. I'm starting to get hot in my car. I had like heat on because I was freezing before because it's like a cold fall day today. It like feels like fall. And um, my hair was wet because I didn't shower. And uh, yeah, so it was chilly. So I had the heat going. And then now I'm like not chilly anymore. So I'm like, okay. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. Peace. Uh, the last time I was here, I didn't get a car and I just tried to hold everything. But this time, I'm gonna get a cart. So I'm so excited. I'm take a sip of water really quick and then. And I'm gonna run in. things in home goods. I think my mom is done as for um, birthday presents unless I find something else that like I need to get her but um, I got her quite a few things and I think she's gonna be happy with them. Um, I'm really freaking hungry. I didn't eat breakfast or anything. I haven't eaten anything. Um, it's like one o'clock now. <clears throat> and there's a Chipotle right here and I really wanna get Chipotle, but like I'm spending a lot of money today and I'm like, okay. So buying food today is not the, uh, it's probably not the best idea. So I guess I will just continue to be hungry a little while longer while I run to two other places. I haven't really found anything for Jade yet, which I'm freaking out about. Well, I got her two like little things and I'm gonna take her out to brunch tomorrow. So like, I guess technically I don't really need to get her anything like crazy, but like I wanted to get her like something, you know? I mean, I got her two little tiny things. I guess I'm just like, I just like love giving gifts, I guess. I don't know, I go a little overboard. I'm also like trying to like multitask and look for like Christmas presents for people as well because like it's only October but like it's never too early to go Christmas shopping because then December comes around and you're broke from buying everyone's Christmas presents so yeah the, I'm gonna stop at TJ Maxx because like they usually have a lot of good things. Uh, there's Burlington over here. Where the heck is TJ Maxx? Maybe I'll just stop in Burlington instead. No, no, I like TJ Maxx better. But TJ Maxx is actually the complete opposite way. Hmm. Should I turn around now? Yeah, I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx and then I'll stop at the Walmart that's over there. And if I can't find what I'm looking for at that Walmart, then I'll just go to the other Walmart. Yeah, and then when I get home, I'm going to do a, a big haul and show you everything that I got. This is definitely going to be posted after everyone's birthday, so nobody knows what they're getting from me. Um, just so you know. So yeah, that is the plan. Alright, I'll see you in a little bit. home this is everything I got today I'm gonna go through everything to show you 
everything that I got. So Hello. yeah. So now we are back. Um, I actually recorded all of this prior, but then it got deleted. So I'm going to be re showing you everything that I got. Um, so we're going to start with um, TJ Maxx because I only got one thing from TJ Maxx, which is this super cute mug. Um, this mug is for Jay's birthday as part of her birthday gift. I love it so much. It's super cute. Has butterflies on it which are my personal favorite but i mostly just got it for like the color i mean obviously i got it for the design it's super cute but uh the color matches the other thing that i bought for her so yeah um the next thing that i got from well actually that was it for tj maxx so i'm going to be moving on to the dollar store so one of the things that i got from the dollar store is a bunch of uh, cards. Um, I just always need cards, so for birthdays and stuff. So yeah, I got that. Then I got this basket. It says "Feeling Pumped." Super cute. Um, they only had this one and like a witch one, and I liked this one better. It was just cuter, so I got this one. And then I got mostly a bunch of candy to go in this basket. So sour patch watermelons. Gummy bears. Kit Kat. Yeah, baby. Sour Patch in the blue raspberry flavor. Only blue raspberry. These just hit different. Then I got two of these packages of like shredded paper to go into the basket for when I make it. Then I got this drink, Mucho Mango. This is really good. If you like mango, this is really good. And the last thing I got is this little plastic chain thing, just to like decorate the basket a little bit more. I don't know, I thought it was cute. Hopefully it works out. If it doesn't, then I guess I wasted a dollar. Um, oh, I also got tape because I need a tape so you can never go wrong with tape. So that is everything from the dollar store. Um, I would show you the cards, but I think that's like boring, so I'm not gonna show you the cards. It's also like personal, I guess. So yeah, anything. The no anyway, the next place I went to was Walmart. Walmart. I don't know why my voice just like cracked when I said that. So I went to Walmart and I mostly got stuff for dinner for tonight. Um, but I also got this super, super cute, fluffy, soft, amazing pink blush throw blanket. It is so soft. It's part of Jade's, um, birthday gift. Now I just, when I saw this, I was like, oh, I love it. I need it. And then I was like, I don't need it. Jade needs it. So I got this super soft blanket and I got the mug because it matches. She has like everything this color, like her watch is this color, her iPad is this color, her like computer is this color. So I got this color because it's just like everything is this color for her. So I was like, keep the trend going, you know? But like, is it like, can you just imagine her like sitting there with this blanket on her, drinking some coffee out of her super cute mug? So yeah. Another part of her gift that I thought is super adorable. The next thing I got from Walmart is for myself. It is the um, Pure Moist, ew, I hate that word, uh, contact solution. These are two travel sizes. I got them because I go to my grandma's a lot um, and I stay there and I have contacts, so I need contact solutions. So I just got these little travel size ones so that I can keep them at her house. Um, I got like one that was like really tiny, it was like this big, and it didn't really last very long, so I figured I'd get these ones and just leave them there. They're a little bit bigger, so hopefully they'll last me a little bit longer. The next thing I got from Walmart is da -da -da -da, this picture frame. It's also a part of Jade's birthday gift I thought it was so cute I love like the style of it like the way that it opens and closes I think that's really neat um I like that it can just like sit up on like stand up on its own and it doesn't have like one of those back things um 
and I can put like two different pictures in here so I thought that was really cute I also love like the style of it like this like wooden mahogany looking wood frame I guess like it's like dark it's like brownish grayish has a little bit of black in it I don't know it's super cute so this is what it looks like and you just like put the pictures into the back and the last thing I bought from Walmart is gum because this is my favorite gum. I'm going to add one to the Halloween basket that you just saw and one in my purse or backpack because I'm running very low and I'm constantly chewing gum like all the freaking time. That is everything that I got from Walmart. So um, let's move on to home goods. All right. So from Home Goods. So I don't know. Um, I'll start with this one, I guess. I got these super cute slippers because I just needed a pair of slippers, I guess. They're not like, I guess, the cutest like looking. They're just like basic brown, I guess. They kind of look like Uggs, but they're so soft. And they're um, memory foam. So that's going to be really comfortable. Um, they're only 10 bucks, So I was like, got to get them. And I got them in a size small because I have tiny feet. Everybody always talks about how small my feet are. So yeah, tiny slippers for me. Um, what really sold me, honestly, was that they're washable so I can just like throw them in the washing machine. Um, they also have um, odor control, which I guess is good if you have smelly feet um, or your feet smell bad in slippers. I don't know. Um, they also have arch support, good for your back and temperature regulating. So I like the temperature regulating. I feel like sometimes like in fuzzy slippers, your feet get really hot. So like, hopefully that will prevent that. Like it's good to keep them warm, but like overheating is another thing. Okay, the next thing. So I'm obsessed with candles. I have this one candle from Home Goods that is amazing. Well, actually I have a few that are amazing. One is downstairs and one is in my bedroom right now. The one that's like, I freaking, I'm obsessed with is downstairs because my mom was also obsessed with it so we keep it in the living room so we can both enjoy it um the other candle I got the last time I was there is this sand and fog pumpkin spice candle it's so good this is what it looks like oh my god it smells so good it was only $7.99 and the top is so cute like it it's amazing like even the top just smells so good uh initially when I first bought it I didn't really like the smell of pumpkin spice I was like I like to drink pumpkin spice but like I don't know if I'm gonna want to smell it all the time but once I burnt it for the first time it smelled like completely different and it smells so good so it like smells like cinnamony like it, it smells like pumpkin spice but like I don't know really good um this is what this says. I don't know if like, you want to read it. Sand and Fog was born of a vision of three women who believed candles should not only smell good, but look good too. We are living proof that the California dream is alive and well, hoping we can bring light and happiness into your life. And they did. Because candles make me so happy. So yeah, that's one that I got. I also like tend to leave the lid off because I feel like the candles just like give off a nice smell in itself when they're not lit as well. So yeah. The next thing I got, like I mentioned, I'm obsessed with candles, so I got a bunch of candles. I got this candle. It's a Christmas scent frosted. I'm going to say that word wrong. I say it wrong all the time, so I'm not even going to try. Balsam. But it smells so good. It smells like Christmas in a candle. Like, oh, kind of like piney. It smells so good. I'm just... But I'm giving this one to my mom as part of her birthday gift. So I have her other birthday gifts over here as well that I'll show you. But I made her smell it low key. I was like, oh, smell this one. It was only $6.99 also. But this is what it looks like. Um, I made her smell it too, and she like loves the smell. So bonus. So that's the first candle that I got. Ta-da! It's called Modern Gentleman Richly Scented Candle. It looks like very like professional, I feel like. This one was $9.99, so $10, not bad. Um, original price was like $20, so 
This one smells like, I don't know if you've ever smelled mahogany teak wood from Bath and Body Works, but that's kind of what this one smells like, which is why I'm obsessed with it. I love like musky scents and I feel like this smells like mahogany teak wood musky scent. Kind of like a guy, it smells really good. Excited to see what this one smells like when it's burning. I'm gonna, but I'm gonna put it in the Halloween basket because I feel like this scent really goes with like the Halloween vibe. So this one unfortunately isn't for me, but I hope I can smell it when it's burning because it's gonna smell so good. Another Christmas candle. This one is called Christmas Spruce from Farm Fresh. I love this brand. I have another fall, ca fall candle from this brand downstairs and I don't know what scent it is, but it smells heavenly. I love it. This one smells amazing, like amazing. I will be burning this every single day as soon as I finish my fall candle. Um, I don't even, it kind of smells like the other one, like kind of piney, but it just like smells like Christmas. Like, you know, like the smell of Christmas, like that's what this smells like. I don't know how to describe candles. I'm not a candle smelling describer. I don't know what the heck I just said. I'm not that. But this smells amazing. And that's all I have to say. Fresh. Like it smells fresh and piney and Christmassy. I got this one, which is going to be for Jade's gift. Um, this is a cedar and vanilla. Nope. Cedar and lavender. Lavender. It smells so good. It does kind of smell like vanilla-y. Vanilla and lavender. Which this is like my favorite like all year round scent. I have a candle over on my other dresser that is like this scent. It, I think it's from Sand and Fog, the other one. But this one just smells so good. I, I was about to go like this so that you can smell it. Smell it. it smells good. But uh, this is what it looks like. Cedar and lavender. It's very like basic. I feel like Jade is very like simplistic kind of. I guess. I don't know. And I feel like this, like, gold and, like, basic, like, outside just is very, like, simplistic and cute. And I think she's going to love it. And it smells so good. So, okay. So, now I'm going to go into the gifts that I got from my mom. So, I got her this super cute plate. It's called the Giving Plate. And it says, this plate is for everyone to give love and kindness away. Let its gift bring joy and comfort while it's with you on this day. Cherish the precious memories made with your family and your friends, then pass it on to someone else so it's giving never ends. So I just love, like, the idea of this um, plate. Like, she makes a lot of stuff around the holidays, and I think it's going to be really cute to, like, um, I think I'm going to bake something, put it on this plate, and then give it to her as part of her gift, just because, like, it goes with, like, the theme of, like, what the plate says. So I'm super excited about that. Um, I also just love, like, the idea of, like, passing the plate around, like, seeing where it ends up. Um, I just think it's really cute, and, like, it's a tradition. Just keep it going. So, yes, that is the one of the things I got from her. And then the next thing I got, I am so excited about this one. Here it is. This is like kind of one of those things like that you can put this side. It's so cute. It's like gold foiled. But I think she's gonna love it so much because she's been wanting something like this for so long. Um and it's kind of like have you ever seen like the charcuterie boards? I can't say that word either. But whatever, those boards, like she likes to entertain. She loves hosting. So like this is gonna be used a Brick ton is this. Now this like you're like what the heck? Like why did you get her this? But it's like for dips and stuff. It's like keep your dips cool. And I know that's like really weird. But like I said, she likes to entertain. And like dips are a big thing that like always need to be cold, especially if we're hosting something outside. And then like it can't stay cold because it's hard. So I got this little thing which you fill up with ice and then you put the bowl of your dip or 
condiments or salad dressings or whatever and stayed in there so it stays chilled and i think it's cool how it's like see-through i don't know i like that they had another one that was like a stainless steel bowl but i don't know i like the clear one better so that was okay so here it is this is a freaking adorable and it's clear it's a christmas tree it has like a little star on top and the whole thing lights up um i mean obviously like you need to put batteries in it and stuff but like inside there's like twinkle lights i'm so excited for this i think this is gonna look really great like by our like on our little mantle thing that we have or like even right when you walk in it's gonna look so cute i'm so excited about this I think she's gonna love it. I sent a picture to my grandma before I bought it because I was like unsure of it at first and she was like nah like she's gonna love this. So I'm really excited about this. I'm really excited for her to open it. I'm excited for her to see it. I'm excited for her. She's decorating like basically one of the first weeks of November for Christmas so it's gonna be out for quite a while so I'm super excited. That's why I'm getting her Christmas stuff so early. I think that's everything I got from Home Goods. Now, one last thing I got from the mall. There was like a little book sale going on. So I got two books. So I got this book called By the Time You Read This by Lola J. It looks really good. Um, I don't know if you guys like to read. I love to read when I have time, so. And the last one that I got that I got is A Dog's Purpose. I saw this movie and it was so good. So I was like, I'm going to read the book, obviously. Um, so I'm super excited to read this book. I love dogs. So even though it sounds I'm like kind of a little sad, I think it's going to be a really good book. So that is everything that I got. Thank you so much for watching my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for like coming along with me kind of. Um, driving around town buying different things on my day off. Um, I really enjoyed it. So once again, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below. I don't know, anything you bought recently or maybe your favorite thing that I bought. Um, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss a video. Um, once again, our schedule is I post on Wednesday. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Mia posts on Wednesdays. I post on Fridays and we post together in some way, shape or form on Sunday. Yeah. Bye our little bambinos. Mwah.